Hey guys, Mark the Gay Bad today, bringing another video, and today we're going to be covering a video for the Battle Dock Pack. So this is part of the Call of Duty Endowment Program. It is now Call of Duty Endowment Month, and I believe we had a similar pack last year for Call of Duty Modern Warfare, and now this year, coming around with Endowment Month, we're doing the Black Ops Cold War Bundle for the Battle Dock Pass, which is ba based off of the real-life Sergeant First Class Timothy Doc Hobbs Jr., and he's a recipient of the Combat Medical Badge of the CMB. So this pack was designed specifically with him in mind. He uh, was actually placed into a job by the Combat Medical, or excuse me, the Endowment Program. So let's go ahead and look at the uh, the bundle itself, and then we'll get into some more information. So the bundle you can see on screen comes with the Combat Mac Medic Skin for Sims. It also comes with the Battle Dock XM4 blueprint, which is a really nice blueprint for this weapon. Really makes it look uh, like a modernized M4. We also have the injector charm, the first aid kit, the medics code calling card, and a double weapon XP token. So if we go ahead and back out, and first off, we'll look at why don't we look at the operator? So you can see the weapon there. We'll back out and look at the operator itself for Sims. So if I go ahead over to Sims here and we'll take a look, select him as our operator, we'll look at his different outfits first off. So we have the base ones that he comes with in game and then you can see we have the combat medic. So first off, how do you get this bundle itself? So you can see here first off the combat medic, really nice looking skin. So let's go through the skin, I'll show you how to get this pack and then we'll go through the weapons. So the skin here you can see is the... Combat medic skin, let's go ahead and we'll zoom in on this and get into a little bit more detail. So, also the inspect there with, with the operator looks really cool the way he looks at his weapon. So, the helmet itself, this is based off of uh, the markings on the helmet, based off of uh, Sergeant Timothy Hobbs' actual helmet, it seems to be. He's got the nods there, but you see the helmet there. He served, I believe it was four tours in Afghanistan, and then he served one humanitarian mission as well. Uh, so, you can see here... Really nice operator skin. He's got the desert fatigues. No, uh, no plate carriers or anything like that because they took some liberties. Obviously, because the operators are based in the 1980s, um, there was no like modernized plate carriers or anything. So I think he has what what appears to be maybe a flak jacket on there, and then he's got his uh, his rig as well with the smoke grenades. He's got the paracord, what looks like the water bottles on the rear. There is canteens, he's got his combat knife, and then just other pouches for, I'm sure, like medical supplies. You can see the XM4 magazines there in the front right pouch, as well as I'm assuming is going to be the same probably for spent mags on the front left. And then we have that uh, smoke grenade on the chest, as well as what appears to be, I wanted to say a strobe, but it's not a strobe. I can't really tell what that is on his right shoulder, but... And then he also has his pistol holster, and again, you can see just a really nice looking skin overall. And he's got the older version of the uh, the dual nods there, which is really nice. You can see there on his helmet, again, this helmet was designed, I believe, directly uh, with Tim Hobbs' helmet in mind. So I think they, they worked with him in collaboration to design that helmet. So that's the operator for Sims. Let's go ahead quickly, and I'll show you where you would get this bundle first off. So if I go to the store... A lot of people can't find this so you go all the way down to the bottom here franchise store this one because it's part of the endowment program you don't buy it with typical card points they actually just want you to purchase it upfront with money because of the proceeds uh call of duty matches every dollar on the dollar to directly to the endowment program and up to a million dollars i believe it is so if we go to franchise stores we want to be unfortunately i'm not sure why it's not loading for me but if you go to franchise store this is where you would find it if I scroll all the way down, you have your different packs. And you can see right there, the Battle Dock Pack is the one you want, as long as all the other ones that are available here through the uh, the franchise store. So the Battle Dock Pack is the one you want here. And you can see it even gives you the description on the right-hand side. So that's where you would get it through the franchise store. Let's go ahead and look at the weapon itself that comes with this for the XM4. So again, it gives us a really nice, modernized-looking uh, M4. So we'll go ahead and we will... Strip this thing down, and first off, we'll go with the muzzle device. So we're going to go ahead and select the SOCOM Eliminator. So this gives you the vertical recoil control, the aim and stability, and the position concealment. 
the cons being the ADS firing movement speed, shooting movement speed, and the horizontal recoil control. So we'll go ahead and select that. Then for the barrel, we're going to want the, I believe it was the 13.7 Ranger is the one I think that comes with this. I'll have to go back and look after we build this. But I think it's the 13.7 Ranger. Gives you the increased bullet velocity. But you can see no matter what the barrel is, you're still retaining the, the blueprint effects, which is nice. I know with a lot of the modern warfare weapons in the past, the wrong barrel kind of kind of messed up the uh, the blueprint look. So here, no matter what blueprint I pick, the handguard as well as the muzzle device are still going to retain the camouflage. So we'll go ahead and do the 13 inch ranger and then for the optic we're gonna go ahead and want i believe it was just the standard red dot micro led site here you can see it retains the camo so just the micro led red dot site we'll go ahead and put that on and then we have the the base stock the ammunition was actually the same we have the the rear grip so we're gonna have the drop shot wrap i believe So we're going to have the drop shot wrap, I believe, is the one that comes with this. The aim down sight speed and the flinch resistance. So we'll go ahead and select that. And then the base ammunition and the underbarrel, we're going to go ahead and we're going to want the infiltrator grip. So you can see the infiltrator grip retains the camouflage we want there. So the infiltrator grip is going to help with the movement speed and the cons being the sprint, sprinting movement speed. So we'll go ahead and select that. And that is our... M4 or the XM4 and really quick let's double check and make sure we have the right attachments if I go to the uh, the blueprint itself here you can see the battle dock blueprint and you can see SOCOM eliminator 13.7 Ranger micro LED drop shot and the infiltrator grip so we did get it right and if we go ahead and look at the weapon itself some interesting things you can see the strap here says US medic on there which is pretty cool and also you have this the desert Camouflage on the buttstock of the XM4. You have it on the handguard, the muzzle device, the front grip, the pistol grip, as well as the micro LED red dot sight there. So really nice looking uh, weapon overall. I think it looks really good. It really kind of brings this more in line with the modernized uh, type of M4. And then you can see, I don't, I can't recall if it's on the base M4, but you have that nice, uh, what looks like kind of a, a black electrical tape on the bottom of the magazine there. So. That is the Battle Dock XM4. If we go ahead and jump into some gameplay of this, I'll show you this as I as I inspect it in the game here. You have the weapon itself and the inspect animation. Also really cool for the XM4. Just taking out the magazine, checking, making sure we have rounds in it, and then tapping it on the side of the weapon there. It looks really good. And then you load it. The recoil pattern for this, uh, I haven't really used the XM4 in Warzone at all to be honest, but the recoil pattern is actually very, very manageable. I played a game of plunder with this, and you can see the recoil pattern, it just goes straight vertical for about the first half of the magazine, and then it cuts uh, right decently hard for the rest, that latter half of the 15 rounds of the, of the 30 round magazine. So you have a straight vertical, and then the latter half is gonna cut right, so they really don't need to compensate too much, uh, just straight down, and then a little bit pulled down to the left to compensate for that right turn that's going to take for the last half of your rounds and it's very easy to control this has very good bullet velocity and again not any heavy recoil you just got to watch out for that right hand uh turn there versus how i fire it without controlling the recoil versus controlling the recoil very easy to control and again this is a very good close to medium range assault rifle i believe especially for warzone and it's cool because we're running the socom eliminator and they just did the patches with that in season three for the update so this does actually reduce your time on the minimap now to such a minuscule amount that you're really undetectable unless somebody's gonna gonna know where you are very quickly. But a lot of people will see those red dots pop on the minimap and mark them so they know where they are. However, by the time you're using these type of muzzle devices where your signature on the minimap is reduced, by the time somebody gets their minimap up to mark, you're gonna be gone by that point. So it is a very effective device. It does have a purpose now. And you can see the XM4, uh, again, just looks really, really good. I, I definitely like this camouflage much better than the uh, endowment program we have for Modern Warfare with that, that kind of ugly reddish camouflage on there. But again, really nice 
XM4. I do like this bundle again. It always is to support a really good cause being the endowment program. So, like I was saying in the beginning of the video, is uh, Sergeant First Class Timothy Howes was actually placed in a job uh, through the endowment program itself. So he was placed in a job through this, I believe, in last year, 2020. So it makes sense that they would collaborate with him to kind of make their own bundle and promote that here in May for endowment month. So really nice to see. And again, they worked with him on the helmet, some of the uniform design, and obviously the weapon, similar to what he would have been carrying in Afghanistan. So I believe he did four tours in Afghanistan and one humanitarian mission. Unfortunately, because the internet's so blown up with just the endowment program, it's really hard to find anything outside of the endowment program, interviewing some some minor things online about him. But he, again, he did earn the combat medic badge and earn that title of Doc. So just being a combat medic doesn't mean they call you Doc right away. You got to obviously earn that amongst the men. And being a combat medic badge recipient, it means basically you are in the fight with the infantry as their combat medic Um moving up with the infantry as they're assaulting so he's right there in the fight really good to see this kind of bundle and again i typically don't go for cold war bundles lately but this is honestly a really good uh down to earth modernized type bundle for call of duty cold war it looks really good and it's only 9.99 in store so it comes up to a little over ten dollars with uh tax just us dollars here you can't cannot purchase this with call of duty points so they just want the actual straight cash um, off your debit card in the franchise store. That way they can match that and send it to the endowment program uh, to help troops like this find a job. So let me know down below what you guys think of this bundle. Again, I think it's pretty cool. And again, it's for a really good cause, so I definitely uh, have no problem supporting that, um, especially for the endowment program of the troops. So let me know down below what you guys think. This is Buffner Gaming with the Battle Dock Pack here in Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War Warzone Integration. Till next time, Buffner Gaming, out.